how to add visitor counter in your google sites hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how we can get this done easily so first just go ahead and open up the site that you actually want to add the counter to i'm just going to remove these unnecessary sections that i have um which are pretty much you know for other videos that i had but anyways you can feel free to select the proper place you want or you know make sure you have a place ready for the counter and from google sites itself we're not going to be doing much um it's not going to be from google sites itself but we want to get it from a different platform and then paste it in here and it's going to work as well so all we need to do is just go ahead and you know make your google site ready and then you just want to open up a new browser tab and you will need to type in elf site dot com or dot io both are going to work so elf site dot com as you can see on on your screen and you basically want to visit this website from here all you need to do is just go and add your email and you can just create your account for free now it is mostly for free unless you have a lot of views that you have on your uh, website and there's different rules on when you will need to upgrade and when it's actually going to be for free you can use one of you know you have there's plenty of widgets to choose from but in the free version you can just use one of each widget uh, and there's more to it so you can read more about it later on but anyways all you need to do is just go ahead and add your email and click on start and you should be taken to the widgets so just i'm just going to click on widgets here or you know go to my profile and I will find myself in the widgets. Uh, I will go to catalog. And basically you want to search for on the top right or wherever the search box is for you. Visitor. Counter. And you will find this one. Visitor counter. So you're just going to click on it. And then you'll be able to select a template and customize it to your liking. There are going to be a few templates to choose from. Uh, so yeah. All of these templates you can choose from and obviously they are highly 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 customizable i'm just going to go for this one i don't really want it to go overboard with it but you can feel free to select anything uh, that you like and click on continue with this template and obviously when it comes to editing stuff it's going to be different from each template each template is going to have different stuff here so i'm just going to select unique visitors so this is going to only calculate the unique visitors that i get or you can select it to be each page view. I'm just going to do this one. Uh, and if you want to change the style to it, we can make it medium. Or let's just do large. Um, and let's just keep it a dark mode. And there's no colors here, so it doesn't really matter. But the borders, we can just change it a little bit. Anyways, so just go in and customize it to your liking. And once you're happy with it, you can just click on publish on the top right. And in here, you'll be able to, you know, compare the plans, see which one is going to suit you best. If you have 200 views on your website, then the free one should work for you. If more, you know, you can just go in and compare the plans yourself and select the one that is going to suit you best. In my case, the free one is going to be more than enough. So select the plan and just copy the code. And once you copy the code, we can just go back to our Google Sites, click on Embed. And then you would basically want to click on embed code and paste it right over here and click on next and you should find the counter ready to go click on insert and you basically have it now ready to go so we can just go ahead and uh, move it down here and it's going to look a little something like this now you can obviously feel free to you know minimize this like so and you can just go ahead and move it around to your liking so this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.